Hero, help me out with something. Got a thing. I'm in a bit of a bind here. See, it was me and my lady love's anniversary, and I had this real special night plan. But then, the Dragon Lord did that thing where he ripped my soul out of my body, and I missed it. So, I want to look my best when I try to make up for it. I'm thinking I need a new role. Here, take this sewing pattern. But my girl is like super god, so I'm gonna need a bunch of skulls. And my necrocentric perception tells me there's a whole mess of skeletons nearby. Here, let me open up a shortcut for you. While you do that, I'm gonna track down some flowers that aren't poisonous. This has gotta be perfect if I'm gonna win my way back into her good graces. Or I could just explain to her what happened to you. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll tell her. But I want to make sure she feels extra special when I show up to apologize. Aw, even I can tell that sweet. What a nice man. Oh yeah, he's a good, good kid over here. Almost makes me feel guilty that we had to beat up on him so bad. Almost? Yeah, almost. We did what we had to. Tina, back me up. You know, you did what you had to do. You know, skulls are cool and all, but kind of expected. I'm thinking this road needs a little razzle that. Hmm. How about arm bones? You know, drape a few off the robe like a wind chime? That's pretty goth, right? If you say so. Arm bones it is, then. And we're sure this lady is gonna be down with, like, skulls and bones and stuff? Seems to me like the man knows what his lady looks. I think he's pretty cute, actually. Oh, yeah? So you were dating? Ooh, yeah, Fred. Dave, Yeah. I'm an asexual robot with just about zero interest in your human notions of romance or dating. No offense taken. No offense taken, Frederina. You so cute, though. Send a corpse to do a killer's job. Phenomenal. Those bones are exactly what the Necro ordered. But if we're gonna make this sick-ass robe, we still need leather. God, the girls love leather. Assuming they're not vegan. I'll need the hide of a winged beast. There are like 8,000 winged beasts in the baddies' fire. Should we just go one by one, or...? No, 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 no. It's, uh, you know what? Here. Ahem. Ah, I, I meant to say wyvern leather. From wyverns. Just go kill wyverns. All I'm saying is that clue wasn't super clear. Yeah, girl, I get that now. Damn, it's wyverns though. Uh, yeah, we know that now. Just so you know, I've been hearing rumors on the necrobat that Cheddar Bambroski has been bugging my girl since I've been away. Who's that then? Cheddar Bambroski. The dumb as a brick demon ball player who won't leave her alone. Why didn't you say that we were trying to rescue this woman? Well, she put a restraining charm on. But if I know Bambroski, which to be honest, I don't really, he'll probably find a way to break the charm. I just thought you should know. Give me look at you.
You got the leather? Great. Now you'll have to find a skilled tailor to craft this magnificent robe for me. I search for a tailor. Oh, uh, say no more. Map marker. Map marker! You know, I used to try these, like, super dumb pickup tricks to get ladies' attention. <laughs> yeah, right. But if you ever had trouble getting dates, you sexy swashbuckling so-and-so. Well, thank you, but truthfully, I was an awkward teenager once as well. And how'd that turn out for you? <clears throat> well, on one hand, she did kick me in the nuts, but on the other hand, her friend also kicked me in the nuts. Yeah, that tracks. You got a real kickable crotch. Ha! She read you like a book, baby! You there? I'm looking for a tailor. All right, yeah, I'm tailor. Can you do any sewing at all, tailor? Like for money? I mean, yeah, I can totally make clothes, for sure. Just give me what you got. I'll make you something gnarly. Here's the pattern and the supplies. Right, no, for sure. Hang tight, yeah? What the hell, Tina? Hey, you didn't specify that you were looking for a clothing tailor. Oh, that's B and B, baby. Ah, uh, stinks. Abracadabra is your fedora. What? <sighs> Fine, we'll make it work. Don't worry. That thing's totally suave. It'll do the trick. Okay, bye. You have my fresh new outfit? Excellent. I've got the flowers. Come on then. Meet me at my lady love's house. Valentine, Fred, other person whose name I didn't catch. Here! I got these for you. You got us fedoras? Wow, Tina, you really shouldn't have. Now you'll always have something to remember the campaign by. I got one for me too. See, look. Oh, yes, I will definitely keep this. Yep, for sure, me too. Thanks, Tina. You are very welcome. Now put him on. No. Why not? Oh, uh, hat hair. Super not flattering on me. Okay. Well, Fred, you can put it on. Same, hat hair. You don't even have hair, girl! I know. Still.
bag. Well, that's going for you. You're looking for trouble. You found it. I've got a boat. I guess we should ring the bell and make sure that butt fucking Van Frozen isn't prowling around being all sleazy. You all these undead as a kid! Come on! Give me a chance! Oh. Alley cakes! Why are you shutting me out? We were meant to be together! Oh, Mitchell! Just give me a chance! I know how to treat you right! Okay, I'll just wait out here until you come to your senses. You harass a lady, I harass you. To death. Simple as that. You won't stand in the way of true love! Take a brawl. Hey, I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Do you have my fly new robes? What the what now is this? Adventurer, what have you done? Sorry, I tried. Okay, well, it'll have to do. Okay, here we go. Get ready to watch the magic happen. Babe, it's me. I'm so sorry I missed our anniversary date, but I've got a good reason. William Waster, Jim and I look clue. Where in the Wonderlands have you been? I was worried sick. I, I can explain everything, I promise. Uh-huh. Well, before you do, take off that stupid hat. Uh, yeah, that's fair. Look, just wait for me inside, okay? I gotta thank my friend for helping me out. Mm, okay, doll. Just don't keep me waiting again. Adventurer, come on over. You've done me more than a few favors lately. And I don't know how I'll ever repay you, but I hope this is a start. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta make things right. before they hit the ground.
don't stand a ghost of a chance! God of loot ensures that chests and enemies alike will drop better stuff. seek great riches. There is a mysterious chest in the oasis. It holds a wonder of the ancient coin, but it's sealed to us by a powerful hex. Find it, if you would break the curse. <laughs> Ooh, ominous. I love it. Let's go! I'm sorry, what do you think ominous means exactly? Uh, foreboding? 
Threatening? Inauspicious? Inauspicious? Yeah, inauspicious. Putting aside my utter shock at the fact that you know that word, this seems like a bad idea. Probably, but come on. Are you curious? Okay. Yeah, I am. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> What's he trying to say? He says he's lost his eye. He last saw it nearby. Anything once, even dying. Oh, he says he can see better, which means you're close to the eye. He says he can see an oasis and some sort of shrine.
I say, it is so good to finally see you again. You've done so well, Hero. Please, take a look at my secret room for a reward. On the grandeur of our oasis, but touch nothing. You've been warned. I don't like to in your eyes, outsider. You look like trouble to me. I will be watching you. Yes, this must be it. I can't wait to see what's inside. I don't know. I got a bad feeling about this. What? You're a robot. You don't have feelings. Wow, rude. And also false. Oh, my bad. Hell yeah, you're bad. <laughs> uh, what? Now you've done it, chest opener. Doomed us all. Ugh. What were you thinking, you ignorant cur? And who are you to speak to me that way? You likely know of me. I am Garrett of Trivia. Hunter of monsters, slayer of demons, kisser of witches. I protect this world for money. And now you have released true evil upon it. I was just looking for loot. And instead, you have released the spirit of Cilissa, the evil coiled water goddess. Now her foulness will corrupt the local desert coiled, turning them into bloodthirsty thralls. See? Here they come. I'll be back in a second. Cilissa! In the name of the goddess! Like rubbish. Done. Don't touch me. Took you long enough. 
come here. We have to clean up your mess before Salissa condemns the coil to perpetual rage and fury. Or worse, decides to drown the entire world. Head to Salissa's eternal wellspring up ahead. Walking is for peasants, so I'll uh, meet you there. There's actually a prophecy about all this. It says the first seal will be broken by a bumbling, foolhardy boob. That's you, by the way. I'm getting the sense this guy isn't very nice. Nope, he is not. So what's got cranky pants pants all cranky anyway? Eh, some people are just mean. Another notch, not going to show for it. Hey, what did you say your name was again? Um, Garrett of Trivia, the most famous and prolific monster slayer in all of the land. Thousands of abominations dead by my hand. Come on, you've heard of me. Bards sing of my legendary deeds. Oh yeah? Name one deed. I once bedded a woman while mounted the top of the unicorn. Logistically, uh, that seems difficult. <laughs> I know, right? I'm busy fighting real monsters at the moment, so clear out this fodder while I finish up. You! Get over here. See that? That's what's left of Salissa. Reduced to her pure primordial creative essence. This orb, this prison, provides water to the entire oasis. She was reduced to this state by the first viziers during the torrent of treachery. But by releasing Salissa's spirit, you put not only the oasis, but the entire world at risk. Our only course is to reunite her three shattered aspects, so we can revive her, then slay her. All right, so we're gonna stop her by freeing her, and just hope that we can kill an evil goddess? Uh, we have to do this before she recovers the full extent of her power, but I wouldn't expect someone without my level of experience to know that. So go. You have to finish what you started. You'll need the still warm life hearts of Salissa's most ferocious creations, the Sea Wargs. Once you've done that, we'll work toward freeing Salissa's physical form. As for me, I'll be uh, fighting other monsters and gathering reagents for oils and potions and things uh, to prepare for the fight with Salissa. So you're on your own, which means shut up and leave me alone. Damn, Tina, why'd you make this guy such a jerk face? Hey, not everybody's sunshine and candy balls, Val. Some people got issues. He's one of them. He could be less of a jerk face, though. Yeah, he could, but he's not gonna. <laughs> Bet you wish you turned away.
What's that yonder? That is a poetry page, baby. I met a fair Cyclops while drinking. I think we were both quite enamored. For the rest of that poem, simply walk your little leggy legs to the tavern in Brayhoof. you're busy, which I completely understand. I'm on the wink of destruction, mate. So nice of you to stop by. I'm Sully, and I'm stuck in this wall here. Really didn't see this one coming. You stopped this up proper, eh? Well, I've got an eye for history, and my research led me to believe the ancient corneal coronet is hidden in these ruins. But it all flooded, and I got stuck trying to escape. Doesn't look like I can break it down. Which is my usual strategy. As it happens, I've had quite a bit of time to think in here. If the water pressure built up behind me, I'd pop right out. Try those switches. And there are some quite creepy things in here with me, so if you could hurry, uh, you know, if, if it's not too much trouble. see a second pressure switch. Think that ought to do the trick. So who were those bastards? Oh, well, the other Cyclops do bully. On account of me being more into archaeology and less into murdering people. <laughs> I hate bullies. You're just as good as gold, eh? Something didn't quite feel right. The rest of my body must have gotten separated earlier in the ruin. Should probably find that, eh? myself again. Anyways, I'm for sure stuck down here, so guess I didn't really think this one through, eh? Look, I don't want to put you out any more than I already have. You can just leave me here to die. It's perfectly all right. No, no, I've got it. Choice said. I'll just wait here then. Oh 
my gosh, it's working! Even after all this time! They just don't make them like they used to, eh? Now get on over here, mate! Come on, then, follow me! We can still find the corneal coronet! How rare are we took it? Well, the corneal coronet historically belongs to the true ruler of all Cyclops. I suppose it is also made of pure gold and priceless jewels, but I'm not really interested in all that, you know? This water flowing in, or just give up and turn around, I guess. Either way, it really is nice to have company <sighs> on a ruin die for once, you know? Usually it's just me, and I'm not very good company. Shame the other Cyclops are terrible. You're not wrong, mate. Honestly, I think it's really unnecessary. Just don't murder for like five minutes, you know? It's not even that hard. We did it! Not to be rude, but shouldn't you maybe know how to swim? Feels like a really necessary skill to have. Eh, I put all my talent points into guns. Ah, makes sense. Well, you can head on down there now. I'm gonna stay here, because I'm scared witless, actually. So close to the biggest fight of my archaeological career, though. I'm sure you'll do great. today, eh? Hope you're carrying coins. Don't kill the fruit. This is it, mate. The culmination of my years of study all behind these doors. Describe it to me exactly as it stands. How heavy is it? How does it feel? Sully? Oh no! Run! Oh wow! This sure is exciting for you, isn't it? Just devastated. I can't study it all in its original environment. But maybe now's not the time to bring that up. Your cardio is really quite strong, sir. Consider me dead in prep. Can't run a minute, me. Puffing and puffing right away. <clears throat> Shameful. Gosh, we made it! <clears throat> I never thought we would... Oh, no. <clears throat> That was their whole gang. I'm free to explore ruins to my heart's content now. What a world! You should wear this coronet. It suits you. Well, me? Wear this? But it's meant for the one true ruler of the Cyclops. I'm just... Sully. The rest of them are awful and you're great. Start your own Cyclops crew, why not? You know, before today, I would never have even considered something like this, but you've really given me so much confidence in myself and who I am, I have to say. I think, I think I might just do it. Thank you, cuz. You're a mate for life. <laughs> Excuse me, I think I have something in my eye. 